here today with uh, David Kong, uh, President and CEO of Best Western International and the recipient of the HotelNewsNow.com Stephen W. Brenner Silver Plate Award. Uh, congratulations again. Thanks very award. much for the tremendous honor. Good. Uh, what does an award like that mean to you and to the organization? It's huge. <laughs> First of all, just to think I'm following the footsteps of people like Chris Nassetta and others is a tremendous honor. Yeah. And it's also gratifying to know that I was able to make a little bit of contribution to the industry. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, can you give us an update on the uh, descriptor uh, initiative? Um, is it going as you had, had anticipated? So in terms of numbers and the development pipeline, we are very encouraged. But what the descriptor program has done for us is to enhance the image of Best Western. We are now attracting a lot of very high quality developers and REIT companies and management companies looking to give us their hotels sure. and gateway locations. We have the Best Western Premier opening up in New York, or just just opened last week, in fact. And that's a tremendous boost for the brand's image. Sure. And um, what does it mean for the, the system as a whole, the, the descriptor initiative? Uh, how does that boost the entire system? Well, I think we achieved a record of red, red fire index of 110 in 2012 because of the descriptor program. Mm -hmm. First of all, the hotels are motivated to upgrade because of the descriptive program. They want to compete at a high level, and now they have the ability to with the descriptive program because they are now not just a Best Western. They are now a Best Western Plus or Best Western Premier. And by doing so, they are able to achieve a high occupancy or high average rate. As you can imagine, there's a significant difference in red bar performance between a two-diamond hotel and three-diamond hotel. Sure. So now we gave the incentive to the hotel upgrade, make themselves a three diamond or three plus diamond hotel. So that naturally bodes well for the hotels as well as for the brand. And I recently visited your uh, Best Western Premier in Haiti, and I also know you opened in, in Myanmar, two emerging countries, certainly. Yes. Um, is that part of uh, the, uh, the the growth strategy, or is that more serendipity, the, those two properties? Well, the one in Haiti we've worked on for a long time. The Caribbean has always been an area that we focus on mm -hmm. from our North American development uh, area. And internationally, Myanmar, uh, Thailand, Indonesia, and all these countries are a huge uh, driver of the Asian economy. I, I know it's not China, it's not India, yeah. but throughout Southeast Asia, we have numerous opportunities. All these economies are booming. People are looking for a value-oriented type of hotel, so that's what fits very well into that equation. Sure, sure. What are your initiatives for the rest of the year? We are working on a design program. We've been working on it for the last one and a half years. It's a five-year program where we're going to visit every single hotel in the system and work with them and really, I also use the word collaborate with them to come up with a property improvement plan. Mm -hmm. It's a three-year plan that we're going to work out with each of the hotels to enable them to have a cost-effective way to renovate their property and to see a big return on that investment. Ultimately, if the quality of hotels are raised, the hotels benefit from that and the brand also would benefit from the image sure. standpoint. Well, appreciate you taking the time and again, congratulations on your award. Thank you. Uh, Ed. I Thank always you. appreciate it.